Dear Boomers, act as if now that you are living your dream life. Don't wait for some other time in the future. Act like it now. Now, you might think that that's childish and that's ch only children dream. And that's why when we get older and we stop doing what we used to do as children, you know, play and laugh and have a great time. That is why when we stop doing these things, our life becomes stagnant, stagnant. <laughs> so it's a very practical thing to live as if you are in a life of your dreams. It's, it's very practical. And we do that, as we have discussed many times in these videos, through aligning your heart with your brain and a, eleva with elevated emotions, especially gratitude. Gratitude plugs into the vibration of abundance. And as we do more of this, we will see results. But of course, we're not interested in um, the fruits of our labor is more important than the results. I mean, the results will come and it's best to be patient and just imagine your dream life. Um, as Jean Houston talks about, we are quantum humans. The quantum fields are accessed through the heart and the brain coordination, harmon the harmonization of these two fields of energy. So um, we need to um, embody the dream life now. And we have to discover how thoughts, emotions, and actions can shape your reality. Obviously, you don't just dream the life of your dreams. You have to put things into action as ideas come to you as to what to do next. So the power of thought and emotion. This is... a uh, Thoughts and emotions are powerful tools for manifesting your desires. You visualize your desired outcomes and act as if they have already come to you. You, in other words, you visualize goals, you make goals, and you act as if these goals have already manifested. And this is a, adapting a new mindset. This is a mindset of all possibilities that are completely within your <clears throat> power to bring joy into your life and you can imagine you can dance you can hang out in the gardens you can hang out with your dogs and visualize that you are living the life of your dreams there's no sense in thinking that something like this has to happen in the future because the future is now <laughs> That's a little mossy. Live as if you've already achieved your goals to attract the reality. Reality. Now, the, doing this will break, th break through all the limitations that you have erected for yourself. You overcome limitations by harnessing your inner power to create the life you, that you desire. So you have to become very conscious of the way you think, the way you act. You have to become very conscious of the words that you say. And, and so you are mentally rehearsing the future of your dreams in the present moment. Mental rehearsal is what Joe Dispenza talks about quite a lot. If I wanted to learn how to play the piano, I would mentally rehearse it. I would not try to play the scales. I would not you know, take my fingers and figure out how to put them on the keyboard. I would mentally rehearse how to play the piano. And then scientific studies have shown that people that do that over the actual practicing of the piano do better than those who play the piano to play the piano. It's very interesting. We have to um, act as if your dream life is your current reality and practice patience and persistence. 
Now, the power of visualization is, is part of what it is to dream. When you dream, you're visualizing your perfect life. And feel, feel the fulfillment of your dreams as you visualize. And, and, and imagine that it's real. It's real. And as we just discussed, gratitude is at the heart of all of this. You're not having gratitude for what you see in front of you. You're having gratitude for the dream that you have created for your future life, but you bring it into the now. You bring your future into your heart, which is the heart is the magnetic center of the body. So the gratitude can be fostered through journaling, the gratitude journal. But once again, we're not talking about what you have, your, what you do, your family. We are talking about bringing that future visualization into your heart and do this regularly open and this will open the doorway for more abundance which is what gratitude is all about gratitude is a, a vibration that hooks right into abundance you can't help but feel abundant when you practice gratitude and abundance comes in many many forms that's for sure it's very important to surround yourself with positive people, the mentors. And I'm very fortunate because I have YouTube mentors. I have Dean Holland, who is the affiliate master, the, the affiliate marketing master. He's the affiliate marketing guru. And he is quite smart in the way he brings all of his people together in various community forums. And he himself is present in all of these forums. And he's been around for a long time. It's not like he, you know, and he's grown quite a lot. So it's not like he's grown and then he's backed off and let other people do his bidding. So forums, because it's really hard to uh, get any kind of um, agreement with people in your ordinary life. I mean, I, 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 I think that it is possible, but I kind of back off from talking about what I'm doing here. If they want to look at my YouTube channel, they'll know what I'm up to. But a lot of people may not do that. It's, it's um, you know, surround yourself with positivity, positive people, and you can do that. Oh, oh, another great community is the YouTube community. This morning, I actually found this wonderful gentleman. He, he believes that people should start a YouTube channel, especially after they're age 40. Now, his name is Scott, and I believe his uh, handle is about turning 40 and starting a YouTube channel. I forget what it is, but. So I saw that little video, and he was just sitting in his living room with an iPhone and doing this video. He says he has all the equipment to do very fancy videos, but he wanted to let people know that you don't need that kind of stuff. I have this, I actually have a camera here on my MacBook Pro right here. I have uh, a little reminder of what to say over here. I have uh, a lighting here, just a light, a light here, and all this beautiful light behind me. And to me, I'm in heaven. I'm happy. I am not a highly technical person to buy all kinds of cameras and backdrops and this. I mean, I really admire the people who are doing fancy videos. I think that's pretty cool. And in fact, I might learn how to do a little bit of fancy stuff. And I don't, I don't even cut these videos. And I think, you know, clip them or I don't edit them. And I think probably you might think I should. <laughs> all right. So then that thing about positivity there are people, your friends might, and, and you know, a lot of times people think you have to be logical. You have to be logical I, that I should go out and get a job or whatever, but I am, I'm working at, at this stuff. So we have to handle our challenges and see them as growth opportunities. Don't see them as failure and don't even see things as success. Everything is growth. Everything is a learning opportunity. And in fact, 
I had learned as I was growing up that life is a learning school. We are in a school of learning here. Nothing is better or worse than anything else. Nothing is uh, more challenging than anything else. We've adapted, adapted these mindsets that are reflective of the thinking of the world. You know, better, worse, more beautiful, more that, more this. Woohoo! So that's pretty fun. Ee So strengthen your faith and your resilience in yourself. It's very important to love yourself. Love, love, love yourself. Don't compare yourself to anybody else. Look at other people as wonderful. You can learn from what other people do and adapt it to what you do. People look in the mirror and they tell them they tell that image in the mirror that they love themselves and that I am enough, I am enough. To think that we, you know, I was reading Matthew Perry's book, his autobiography, his memoir, and he really had a horrible self-image. And he, nobody ever told him how to look at himself. I mean, he thought of himself as an utter failure. The funniest guy on any show in the world, great talent, hated himself. Of course, he had a terrible addiction problem and, and didn't seem to get much help for that. And then you have to strengthen your faith and your ability to co-partner with the universe and that the universe loves you and you are the universe. So we need to foster a holistic view of everything and that your dream life is it is only as powerful as your own imagination. So work on that, do vision boards, do some painting, and then have a great time with it. And, um, and then very importantly, take inspired action. Whatever, if you're gonna, I, th I recommend journaling, and as you journal, an idea will come to you as to how to figure things out. And also walking. Last night I took a nice long walk, and I came up with some ideas that made more sense to me than what I had been told to do because um, the walks help to coordinate your, your brain into a coherence. And it was a beautiful evening, the stars, the lightning bugs. I heard some crickets and this morning I heard some cicadas. It's, it's a beautiful time of year, it really is. So trust the journey. Act like you are already the person you want to be. Surrender to the timing of the universe. Stay open to patience and support. And, and I'll do all of this in the present moment. The present moment is where we do everything. And we need to, in that present moment, we are living in the unknown world of possibility. The past means nothing. The future, we're going into the future with a whole, as a whole new person. We're becoming new people. We're becoming divine humans. And we have to do this. Or some of us will, and some of us will. So we have a, if you can figure out what your true calling is, align yourself with that calling and pretend or dream that it's already happening. Use your talents to make a positive impact and you have many talents don't tell me you don't sit down and write them down whatever it is that you feel that you can contribute to the world with your talents do it very important and celebrate 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 acknowledge and appreciate your talents and your uh, progress and every small victory celebrate it celebrate it celebrate it because it's a whole new world. It's a beautiful thing. You are a powerful creator. Keep believing, keep aligning, and take, keep taking inspired action. Every day is a new day. Every day is a new life. Embrace the journey and live your dream life now. Comment and let me know what you think. And a video will be coming up here, here, oh my goodness, I can't get this figured out. 
and watch the video. Okay, love to all.